Bill Snoffer here, and if you love rock and roll, you'll love the monster rock festive savings at Nielsen. With discounts in the thousands and every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, we will rock you with massive savings. We'll get you a great price, more for your trade, and we'll help you get the credit you deserve. Plus, meet rock legend Vince Neal of Motley Crue on Monday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. for pictures and autographs. Save today the Nielsen way during the Monster Rock Fest of Saving. Jeep Celebration Event. Welcome to the Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Sports Beat, ladies and gentlemen, here on channel 78 Cablevision, or you could be watching us on the very popular website, MugsMedia.com. Once again, we come to you from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, our location, Route 10 East Hanover. The parking lot is being paved, but we have plenty of spots for you customers to park here at Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. All right, folks, let's get right to it. High school football, Roxbury beats Mount Olive. They are now 6-0. Let's roll the video on that game. We go to Mount Olive High School and Roxbury goes to the air and watch quarterback Grant Dixon put all sorts of time, find Jack Clevenger for the 45-yard connection and a first down at the Mount Olive 25. The Gales cap the lightning quick drive here, watch Dixon off the read option, dump it off to Tucker Vobel and he takes it in for the 15-yard score and Roxbury has a 7-0 lead less than two minutes into the game. Roxbury gets the ball back in the fourth down at the Mount Olive nine yard line. It's Grant Dixon zipping it to Stephen Larang for the score and the Gales go up 14-0 at the one quarter. Mount Olive looks to mount the drive here and it's quarterback Jason Drury with a quick out to Jess Roussan on third and five and he picks up the first down at the Roxbury 12. And on third and goal from the nine, watch Jason Drury roll out before he connects with Max Loretta for the touchdown and Mountain Olive trails Roxbury 14-7 with 8.30 left in the second quarter. But Roxbury's on the move again and it's Grant Dixon on the design rollout and he rifles it to Steven Larang to convert on fourth and two and it's first and goal Gales at the Mount Olive six. And two plays later, it's Max Russ on the jet sweep as he barrels his way in from four yards out to push Roxbury's lead to 21-7 at the half. Third quarter we go and Roxbury's defense was tough all night. Watch Phil Infermo, Brandon Yaw, and Malik Goldberry meet at the quarterback for the sack, forcing a Mount Olive punt. Then watch Roxbury quarterback Rant Dixon on the design QB keeper as he rumbles upfield 14 yards to the Mount Olive 7 and it's first and goal Roxbury. And then watch Dixon toss his third TD pass of the game this time to Steven Larang from five yards out, and it's all Roxbury 28-7. Roxbury's defense then gets the ball right back here. Watch Tucker Vogel with the pick for the Gales in the end zone, killing the Mount Olive drive, and it's 28-7 Roxbury at the three quarters of play. Fourth quarter we go. Watch Tucker Vogel of Roxbury on third and 11 keep his shoulder square, and he rambles 36 yards before being dragged down by Jess Roussan at the Mount Olive 10. And Vobel caps the drive and his big night here as he takes it in from a yard out on third and goal. And Roxbury has a 35-7 lead with 5-12 left in the game. Mount Olive gets back on the scoreboard here. Watch quarterback Jason Drury with the pitch to Mark Loretta who weaves his way in for the 28-yard touchdown. But Mount Olive would fall to 6-0 Roxbury 35-13. It was great, you know, we came out here, we threw the ball well, and we put up a lot of points, which is what we wanted to do, and the defense played well great, because that was a big thing that we wanted, to, we wanted to stop them this week. We were flowing pretty good right off the bat, first drive of the game, had a deep pass, first play of the game, and our defense, I mean, we were there to make plays, um, we just got to just gotta clean up a little bit. Grant did a really great job getting everybody the ball, um, you know, we had a couple uh, mental lapses early, you know, a couple bad penalties, but we did a great job uh, recovering and making plays. We played a little sloppy. There were some things that we, we did that we weren't happy with, and, and the guys know that. Uh, I don't know if we could have shown them out there. You know, they're a dynamic offense. The, the quarterback did a great job, you know, running the football for them and, and things like that. They, they didn't give in. Um, but we certainly, you know, I know the score is not indicative of, of you know, um, we, we could have had a lot more. You guys are 6-0 and now. That's a big feat. Talk about going 7-0. and well, we got a tough matchup next week, but we haven't even started preparing yet. We're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get back on Monday, start our running and watching film. I think we'll be ready to go. We're just taking it one game at a time. 
Um, next we got Del Barron, so tonight we'll enjoy this win. Tomorrow we'll be focused on Del Barron, just one game at a time, improving every week. We just got to come into work on Monday, be ready to go for Del Barron. It's going to be a big week, and uh, just got to be ready to play. Have a great work week. We really haven't thought about that. You know, we've been really focusing, you know, one at a time. So uh, I don't have any thoughts on it yet, quite honestly. I'm, I'm, you know, we were real focused on, on making sure that we got this one, uh, on being 6-0 and and, uh, and getting the power points that we needed to try and secure, like, a home playoff game. Del Barton High School is the place to be this Saturday afternoon. They will play Roxbury in a big, huge NJAC division game. Roxbury at Del Barton. That place will be packed on Saturday afternoon. All right, you're watching the Morris County Sports Beat here on Channel 78 Cablevision. And, of course, the very popular website, MuggsMedia.com. As we come to you from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. This past weekend, they had a big event here. They honored the Seton Hall men's and women's basketball teams as Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is the official title sponsor of all Seton Hall athletics. It was a great event. They brought the women's team here, the men's team here. They had free food provided by Muscle Maker Grill. It was a great night. And this Monday night, Vince Neal will be here signing autographs. All right, folks, from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, let's take a commercial timeout. Bill Snopper here, and if you love rock and roll, you'll love the monster rock festive savings at Nielsen. With discounts in the thousands and every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, we will rock you with massive savings. We'll get you a great price, more for your trade, and we'll help you get the credit you deserve. Plus, meet rock legend Vince Neal of Motley Crue on Monday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. for pictures and autographs. Save today the Nielsen way during the monster rock fest of savings. Jeep Celebration Event. Pop, 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 money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Use your phone to pay your friends. You can even pay the rent. Out to dinner, pay your buddy. Use your phone to pop your money. Lake Lim Banks, pop money, money. Pop, 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 money, money, money. Pay the sitter, send the gift. It's real easy, you get my drift. You don't need checks, you don't need cash. Use pop money, it's so fast. Lakeland Banks, pop, pop, pop money. money. The easy way to pay people. Pop to it. Pop, pop, pop. Eastern Propane, since 1938, three generations of a Nicholson family has been serving the area with clean, dependable propane. A lot has changed over the last 75 years, but not the dependability of Eastern Propane. Eastern Propane is and always will be your local hometown propane dealer with their friendly team of customer service and people in the field. Eastern Propane involved in the communities they serve. Eastern Propane, exceptional energy. Call 827-3000. Hi everybody, I'm Ken Warkinson with a public service announcement for Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram and we're here with the General Manager Bill Snoffer, a concerned parent when it comes to texting and driving. That's right Ken, you know, we here at Nielsen understand that over 6,000 deaths and a half million injuries are caused every year by distracted drivers. You know, even in our own household, me and my wife made my son sign a pact that if he's ever caught texting and driving, he'll lose his privileges. Don't text and drive, a friendly reminder from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Welcome back to the Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Sports Beats here on Channel 78 Cablevision and the very popular website MuggsMedia.com. We appreciate it very much that you're watching this program. We love Morris County. We're here to stay thanks to our title sponsor, Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. So we ask in return, you do your best to patronize this dealership. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, field hockey. When you talk about field hockey in Morris County, you have to mention Madison. Once again, they advance the uh, tournament final. They beat Mendham. Let's roll a video on that game. First half action here at Booton High School in the Morris County semifinals, and number two Madison has a penalty corner, but it's Mendham keeper Grace Tino with a terrific pad save to Rob May Byrne, and we have no score. The Dodgers get another chance here, and it's Grace Tino again. Watch her make the initial save on Caroline Turnbull before she bounces back and clears out the area. Wow! And Tino single-handedly keeping number three Mendham in the game. Watch as she makes another terrific save, this time on Amanda De Silva, and we still have no score. But the Dodgers finally break through here, watch the hard work in the circle by Emma Tickmore, and she scores, and Madison has a 1-0 lead at the half. Second half we go, and it's Grace Tino again for Mendham on the corner, as she makes the pad save on Kerry Ann Murphy, as Mendham finally clears the circle to keep it 1-0. Okay, Madison again is on a corner, and again it's Grace Tino not making one, not two, but three saves for the Minutemen, Oh my goodness, what a job by Tino. But as good as Tino was, Elizabeth Romano of Madison scores here on the blast. That's redirected into the cage. 
and the Dodgers are up 2-0. Menden would be called for a penalty corner and watch Carrie Ann Murphy of Madison continue her streak of converting strokes with the goal as Madison would blank Mendham 3 to nothing to advance to the county final where it played number one Westmore's Wednesday night at Booton High School. As a freshman, I'm really excited to be in the Marsh County Finals just because it's a really exciting thing to get a chance to play such an important game your freshman year and be such a big part of such an amazing team. We're really excited for the finals. Um, we were in the finals last year and we've been preparing for this all year since the spring so we're all really excited and I can't wait. I think the biggest part about being on Madison High School is that we have a really strong offense and a really good defense so even though I don't get a lot of action I feel like I'm always in, in, involved with the team just because we're always moving around and we're so dynamic. We're really excited to be in the finals again for the third year in a row um, and we're really excited to play the winner of the Mobier and West Morris game and we're just ready to go all all out. All right, folks, coming up on the next edition of a sports beat, Madison will play West Morris in the field hockey tournament finals, Morris County tournament. We'll have the highlights on the next edition of the sports beat. All right, folks, Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is our location. Route 10 and East Hanover, number one Chrysler dealer in the entire state of New Jersey, selling over 300 cars a month. Why? Because we have the great sales staff, great customer service, and Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is involved in the communities they serve. Let's honor our title sponsor and some of our other great sponsors by taking a commercial time out. Bill Snopper here, and if you love rock and roll, you'll love the monster rock festive savings at Nielsen. With discounts in the thousands and every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, we will rock you with massive savings. We'll get you a great price, more for your trade, and we'll help you get the credit you deserve. Plus, meet rock legend Vince Neal of Motley Crue on Monday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. for pictures and autographs. Save today the Nielsen way during the Monster Rock Fest of Saving. Jeep Celebration Event. Sweet Niche Bakery is located 32 Broadway in Denville, second floor. Everything is baked fresh to order. Sweet Niche Bakery does corporate events, weddings, and all functions. The Sweet Niche Bakery, home for the best crumb cake in the world. Sweet Niche Bakery, a big supporter of Mountain Lakes Athletics. Call Lisa at 527-5273. Hello. Hello. We are seniors at Pope John High School, and we invite you to discover what our school has to offer students grades 8 through 12. Pope John Grade 8 offers students a comprehensive program that prepares them for the rigors of high school in a nurturing atmosphere of faith and respect. We are like a family. We are a community that works hard together. I have developed friendships that will last forever. Pope John offers every high school student of every academic level a challenging curriculum that enables the child to meet his or her personal goals in an environment of loving discipline. The teachers have willed me to succeed. They respect my hard work. Pope John offers 21 AP courses and 35 honors courses. While being challenged academically, I have grown spiritually. I have been encouraged to work for the good of others. I have been given the confidence and skills to know that I will succeed in college and beyond. I am Father McHugh, president of Pope John. Why not invest in a school with such consistently outstanding credentials? Come see for yourself. We look forward to welcoming you. Hi everybody, I'm Ken Warkins with a public service announcement for Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram and we're here with the general manager Bill Snoffer, a concerned parent when it comes to texting and driving. That's right Ken, you know we here at Nielsen understand that over 6,000 deaths and a half million injuries are caused every year by distracted drivers. You know, even in our own household, me and my wife made my son sign a pact that if he's ever caught texting and driving, he'll lose his privileges. Don't text and drive, a friendly reminder from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Welcome back to the Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Sports Beat Channel 78 Cable Vision and the very popular website MugsMedia.com as we're broadcasting from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, our title sponsor here on the Morris County Sports Beat, celebrating over one year in Morris County now, our second football season, our second field hockey season. After the fall sports, we'll be getting ready for the winter sports. Okay, we talked about the Morris County Tournament final in field hockey. Another semi-final game. Top seeded West Morris beats Morristown Beard. Let's take a look at the highlights of that one. We go to Booton High School for this Morris County semifinal, and top seeded West Morris takes an early 1-0 lead over number four Morristown Beard. Watch Catherine Worth get it to Allison Heal for the tally with 17.04 left in the first half. West Morris makes it 2-0 here with Skyla Migliaccio get great positioning 
on the cross from Faith Spaziano, and she puts it in the cage with just over six minutes left in the first half. Then watch Wes Morris on a penalty corner and watch the great ball by Michaelia Young to Allison Heal who redirects it home for the goal and it's 3-0 West Morris. And it stays that way at the half. Watch Mo Beard goalie Devin Blanchard make the stop for the Crimson to keep it a three-goal game. Second half we go and watch Blanchard in this sequence as she makes three stops during this wild play before the whistle blows. Okay, West Morris is on another corner and it's Michaela Young turning and scoring to give West Morris a 4-0 lead 10 minutes into the second half. And West Morris keeps the pressure on here and it scores again as Faith Spaziano knocks in the loose ball and it's 5-0 midway through the half. West Morris goalie Danielle Rivers wasn't called upon too much but watch her make the save here to keep it 5-0. And Morristown Beard finally scores here on this terrific carry and blast by Gabby Hyman as she goes far post to cut West Morris' lead to 5-1 with 3.35 left in the half. West Morris tallies its final goal here. Watch Catherine Work sneak it into the cage and it's all West Morris 6-1 with less than two minutes left in the game. With the game in hand, West Morris keeper Daniel Rivers was determined not to let Mo Beard score and she makes the beautiful save as she knocks down the scoop shot by Chelsea Kramer as West Morris cruises to the 6-1 final as they advance to the Morris County Championship where it played number two Madison Wednesday at Booth. It was amazing. We worked so hard as a team together and it was such a reward to earn this because we worked so hard. And um, we've been dedicated since the first day of preseason. This was our goal. They're obviously a great team and you know we've been looking at like some stats and you know they beat um, Mo Beard I think 2-0 and obviously we beat them by more but you know stats don't really mean anything because on Wednesday night once you know we're under the lights it's going to be a completely different game. We're going to be in there, we're going to be focused and we're going to be ready. We're going to capitalize, we're going to play our game, we're going to pass and we're going to do what we've been working for since August 11th. We're really excited. We just have all the heart, we encourage each other constantly on and off the field. We're best friends in and season, out of season. We work each other, each other hard, we play hard, we encourage each other. If one gets down we get all back up together. We constantly, no negative things, all positive, all heart. One team, Ohana. <laughs> Coach, what a victory today heading to play Madison. What do you think? Um, it's going to be a good matchup. You know, we were here last year against them. Uh, the last couple years we've seen them in the tournament. Um, you know, they're a great team. We, we respect them uh, tremendously, and we just hope we can come and play our game. All right, folks, Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is our location. Route 10 East Hanover, number one Chrysler dealer in the entire state of New Jersey, selling over 300 cars a month. Why? Because we have the great sales staff, great customer service, and Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram is involved in the communities they serve. Let's honor our title sponsor and some of our other great sponsors by taking a commercial time out. Bill Snopper here, and if you love rock and roll, you'll love the monster rock festive savings at Nielsen. With discounts in the thousands in every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, we will rock you with massive savings. We'll get you a great price, more for your trade, and we'll help you get the credit you deserve. Plus, meet rock legend Vince Neal of Motley Crue on Monday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. for pictures and autographs. Save today the Nielsen way during the monster rock fest of savings. Jeep celebration event. Start saving money with a new water softener from Suburban Morris Water Conditioning. I'm John Noon with Suburban Morris Water Conditioning. You can reach me at 1-800-520-8424 or contact us through the web at www.suburbanmorris.com. We have a special offer for those viewing us on Mugs Media. If you mention this ad, we will give you three 80-pound bags of salt free with the installation of your new water softening system. Ronnie's All-American Barbecue is celebrating 50 years in business. For corporate events, backyard barbecues, pig roasts, Ronnie's All-American Barbecue can do it all. Let Ronnie's cater your next event. Ronnie's All-American Barbecue and Catering in Randolph has a new 7,000 square feet facility. Book your next event by calling Ronnie's All-American Barbecue and Catering at 973-644-3676. 644-3676. Hi everybody, I'm Ken Warkins and with a public service announcement for Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram and we're here with the general manager Bill Snoffer, a concerned parent when it comes to texting and driving. That's right Ken, you know, we here at Nielsen understand that over 6,000 deaths and a half a million injuries are caused every year by distracted drivers. You know, even in our own household, me and my wife made my son sign a pact that if he's ever caught texting and driving, he'll lose his privileges. 
Don't text and drive. A friendly reminder from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. On to girls soccer, Morris County Tournament. Top seeded Randolph beats Morris Catholic. They're now in the final. Let's take a look at the highlights of that semi-final game. First half action here at Mountain Lakes High School in the Morris County semifinals. And it's Sarah Racine of Morris Catholic sends in the corner kick, but Hannah Driscoll's shot goes high for the number five Crusaders. Now watch Caitlin Robinson of Randolph take the through ball for number one Randolph, but Haley Driscoll's there to clear it away for Morris Catholic. But watch Randolph in the box as Maria Fairfield sends the cross to Jillian McConnell and she scores to give the Rams a 1-0 lead 11 minutes into the game. Morris Catholic gets a great chance here, but watch Randolph's defense come up with the big play as it goes off the post before the Rams cover up. Wow. Big play right here. Watch Randolph's outstanding keeper, Rachel Fennell, come flying out and she collides with the Morris Catholic player and she would have to come out of the game. Oh boy. All right, new keeper Ashley Cap comes in and she's tested right away as she collects the ball on the hop to keep it 1-0 Rams. Now watch this beautiful run by Randolph. It's Maria Fairfield with the touch to Kachia Bracklemans and she unleashes the rocket for the goal and Randolph has a 2-0 lead at the half. Second half we go and it's Rachel Mills with the chance for Morris Catholic but her shot goes high and it stays 2-0 Randolph midway through the half. Morris Catholic gets a free kick and watch the beautiful service from Amanda Hall and it's Rachel Mills heading it home for the goal but Randolph would hold on for a 2-1 win to advance to Saturday night's final versus Roxbury at Roxbury High School. This was a big win for us. We've been looking forward to it all season. This is a very important tournament to us and our team and there are a lot of doubts throughout the season from outside um, people, but within our team, we never had doubts. We were always confident. We work hard every day in practice, and we've been looking forward to this to this moment for a long time. We play them on Thursday, and I just hope that you know we treat that like a championship game, so that going into Saturday, we know what's going to happen, and we can just like get business done. I want to scare them on Thursday, and you know, just like finish it off. Nice, like make it a nice jump start into the Saturday. Randolph Roxbury, it's always been a big rivalry, so we're gonna. Bring everything we got, and hopefully it'll be enough. It will be enough. Our game today was definitely a challenge. Um, you know, a semifinal, anything can happen. Um, like, the wind was blowing. It was much colder than it's ever been, so we definitely had to take the conditions into account when we were playing today. Um, I think we definitely did that well, and um, we sealed our fate into the final. All right, folks. Saturday starting at 5.30 is the Girls Morris County Tournament Soccer Final. You have Randolph, they'll take on their arch rival, Roxbury. That starts at 5.30. The Boys Final, number one team in the state, Del Barton, will take on Madison. That game will start after the girls game at Roxbury High School. Doubleheader, Boys and Girls County Tournament Final. Girls game first at Roxbury High School starting at 5.30. Boy, it's going to be a great one, folks. If you're a soccer fan, you got to go to Roxbury High School. All right, folks, you're watching the Morris County Sports Beat, our dial position, channel 78, cable vision, and, of course, the very popular website, mugsmedia.com. As we come to you from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, once again, the number one Chrysler dealer in the entire state of New Jersey. Let's honor our title sponsor and some of our other great sponsors here on the Sports Beat by taking a commercial timeout. Bill Snopper here, and if you love rock and roll, you'll love the monster rock festive savings at Nielsen. With discounts in the thousands on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, we will rock you with massive savings. We'll get you a great price, more for your trade, and we'll help you get the credit you deserve. Plus, meet rock legend Vince Neal of Motley Crue on Monday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. for pictures and autographs. Save today the Nielsen way during the monster rock fest of savings. Jeep celebration event. This is Jerry Morelli. Like most Americans, I have a dream of someday being able to enjoy retirement. One Saturday morning, I heard Gary Shear on the radio. After four meetings, Gary put me in a safe retirement plan. If you're in retirement or approaching your retirement years, tune into my radio program on 1250 AM WMTR every Saturday morning from 9 to 9.30. Take my advice. Call Gary Shear, 539-4100. That's 973-539-4100. Hi everybody, I'm Ken Warkins with a public service announcement for Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. And we're here with the general manager, Bill Snoffer, a concerned parent when it comes to texting and driving. 
That's right, Ken. You know, we here at Nielsen understand that over 6,000 deaths and a half a million injuries are caused every year by distracted drivers. You know, even in our own household, me and my wife made my son sign a pact that he's ever caught texting and driving, he'll lose his privileges. Don't text and drive. A friendly reminder from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Welcome back to the Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram Sports Beat here on Channel 78 Cablevision and MugsMedia.com. Before the break, you heard me tell you Roxbury High School, the finals of a girls' county tournament in soccer is all set. Randolph will face Roxbury. Well, Roxbury got there by beating Kinnelon in the semifinals. Let's roll the video on that game. Mount Lakes was the host of the Morris County semifinals and watch Rael Sansone with the great ball to Paige Monahan. But number three, Roxbury is denied by Kinnelon keeper Emily Karp, and we have no score. Then it's Roxbury keeper Kat Ramage with the save for the Gales here in the first half to keep it scoreless. Now watch Andrea Arias of Roxbury with the terrific ball to Paige Monahan, but she's robbed by Colts keeper Emily Karp with the diving save, and it's a corner kick. And on the corner, it's Capper again with the save on the Paige Monahan one-timer, and this semifinal still has no score. Okay, Kinnelon gets an opportunity here on the free kick. It's Sydney Coots with the blast, but Kate Ramage makes the save on the hop for Roxbury. Roxbury breaks through here. It's Paige Monahan. She goes off the post, but watch Andrea Arias drill home the rebound, and it's 2-0 Roxbury at the half. Second half we go, and two minutes in, it's Arias to Monahan, who slips it into the near post for the goal, and it's 2-0 Gale. Pretty goal right there. Roxbury then gets a corner kick and watch Arias send it in to Alyssa Rose for the header and the Gales have a 3-0 lead over the number 15 Colts. The Gales are awarded another corner kick and watch the give and go between Arias and Monahan as Monahan blasts the goal and it's 4-0 midway through the second half. Roxbury tries to make it 5-0 here watch Madison Martino's shot go off the crossbar before the rebound blast goes high. But the Gales do get that fifth goal here off the Martino cross, it's Stephanie Wilson with the finish as Roxbury advances to the county final. Well, they will play number one Randolph Saturday at Roxbury High School after the 5 0 victory. It was great. We really um, came out um, hard and strong, and we just had that mentality to get out there and work hard. I think the girls played very well. Uh, as long as we keep moving the wall quickly and keep closing things quickly, uh, I think they're going to play very well. Talk about being a big part of this team. You're a leader, you're a captain, and you got some assists today. Being a leader in this team has really been a great experience for me. It's like my first time being being a captain, so I definitely knew I had to step it up a little bit for the younger girls that are coming in. Talk about heading to the finals now to play a top-seeded team. We're excited for the competition, and we just can't wait. No matter who steps on the field, we are ready. Part of it was the mentality of being really excited to go into the final at our home turf. You have a son or daughter, folks, they're involved in athletics. You want them to be bigger, stronger, faster as they get prepared to play college athletics. You don't know what to do. I'm telling you what to do right now. Please write it down. Parisi Speed School, the number one speed school in the entire state of New Jersey with two locations, one in Morristown and one up in Sparta, New Jersey. Parisi Speed School, they sponsor our very popular Play of the Week. Roxbury breaks through here. It's Paige Monahan. She goes off the post, but watch Andrea Arias drill home the rebound, and it's 2-0 Roxbury at the half. That's going to wrap it up from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, our location, Route 10 in East Hanover. They are a title sponsor on this program, folks. Number one Chrysler dealer in the entire state of New Jersey. Watch out for the other program we do for Nielsen Dodge here on Channel 78 Cablevision. It's called Car Lock Kings. As all the happenings going on here at Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, this is a great place to come. They are a title sponsor on this program because they believe in coverage of high school sports in Morris County. I want to thank Bill and Eric, Bill Snoffer, the general manager, Eric Nielsen, the owner of Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. I want to mention to you, if you drive in here, it's a bit of a inconvenience because they have, they're plowing the parking lot, plowing the parking lot. They're uh, redoing the parking lot and it's going to be a beautiful parking lot and they're doing renovations inside the building coming up soon. So this dealership will be bigger and better in the months to come. All right, folks, from Nielsen Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, we bid you a hearty good night. Bill Snopper here, and if you love rock and roll, you'll love the monster rock festive savings at Nielsen. With discounts in the thousands on every new Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, and Ram, we will rock you with massive savings. We'll get you a great price, more for your trade, and we'll help you get the credit you deserve. 
Plus, meet rock legend Vince Neil of Motley Crue on Monday, October 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. for pictures and autographs. Save today the Nielsen way during the Monster Rock Fest of Jamie. Jeep Celebration Event.